The wonderful Tommy Robinson is back of us again on X as, or Twitter, as it was once known. Now, personally, I think Tommy may as well be allowed to say what the hell he wants, as I'm, I'm a fairly big believer in free speech. I think Tommy tends to talk up an awful lot of nonsense with the occasional valid point. But just to show how the public has a, a short attention span, and Tommy is now sort of suddenly moved to being pro-Israel, Here's an article about Tommy from some time ago. Man fined for a hate speech after filming in Pug's nasty salutes. What the, has this got to do with Tommy, you're asking? It's from five years ago. It's about Mark Meacham, who uh, blogs as Count Dog Dankula. A man who filmed a pet dog giving nasty salutes before putting the footage on YouTube has been fined 800 quid. Mark Meacham, 30, recorded his girlfriend's pug responding to statements such as see car by raising its paws. The clip was viewed more than three million times on YouTube. Meacham of Coatbridge, North Lanarkshire, was sentenced at Airdere Sheriff Court after being found guilty of committing a hate crime last month. Let's not read out all of it, but let's go down to the bottom with that lovely fetching shot of Mark Meacham looking, looking spiff in there with them tattoos, bro. Look lovely there, holding that little pug. Uh, fanta what a fantastic shot that is. But as we keep going down, as we go down, Meacham was supported in court by Tommy Robson, former leader of far-right group, the English Defence, EDL. How fascinating. Yet uh, now Tommy is suddenly moving towards being pro-Israel. Funny how he's moved that way after suddenly supporting a man like Cam Dracula who, who thought it was uh, humorous to train his dog to respond to phrases like gas the Jews. Well, because there's nothing more funny than that, is there, Mark, over a cup of tea and a pack of hobnobs? It's a good way to pass the long winter evenings. We all do it. We all sit there and and train our cats and dogs to do that. I can't think of the moments I, I I haven't thought of doing it. In fact, I can because it's absolute bollocks and a damn silly thing to do. Now, Tommy Robson and Katie Hopkins are not my cup of tea, I'll be quite frank about it, that, you know, most of the time they talk absolute silliness, as I said, with the occasional point that I might agree with because no one is wrong all the time. I love this picture, by the way, of Tommy, as usual, sticking his finger out. Or shall I call him by, shall we call him by one of his many numerous names? I've lost count. He's he's had at least six identities I can think of over his his time, in between becoming bankrupt, sticking enough gear up his nose to fuel a entire regiment of Colombian soldiers and twacking police and sucker punching people. Oh, and and enjoying the odd milkshake shower. Now, Tommy, it's up to you to explain how you're going to reconcile sort of defending a bloke who sort of was training dogs to do that with a sudden move towards supporting Israel. I find it a bit odd, but there you go. Tommy has never struck me as the most consistent thinker, though.